How's it going everyone? Austin Honecker here. I just want to come on here for a while and give him a review for All Elite Wrestling's AEW Rampage special event, The First Dance. I gotta say it was awesome from start to finish. For the matches, match one, it was the Jurassic Express, which are Jungle Boy and Luchasaurus, versus Private Party, which are Mark Quinn and Isaiah Cassidy. That was, a, that was a great match, but the ending to it, the Jurassic Express went over because Jungle Boy pinned Mark Quinn with the, th with the Thoracic Express from Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy. Match two, it was Jade Cargill versus Kiara Hogan. That was a quick match, but the ending to it, Jade Cargill went over with the Jaded and match two. And match three, which was the main event, it was John Moxley versus Daniel Garcia. That was that was a great match, but the ending to it, John Moxley went over with the Bulldog choke. Well, after the well after the match, Daniel Garcia attacked John Moxley from behind and beat the shit out of him, and and then 2.0 came in. Well, Eddie Kingston and 2.0 came in, Eddie Kingston and 2.0, which are Matt Lee and Jeff Parker came in, and, and Eddie Kingston got the best of Matt Lee, but Jeff Parker came in and attacked John Moxley along with Daniel Garcia, and the numbers game between 2.0 and Daniel Garcia attacking John Moxley and Eddie Kingston got to be too much because 2.0 and Daniel Garcia attacked we're beating the shit out of John Moxley and Eddie Kingston. But Sting and Darby Allen came out to even the odds, and Sting and Darby Allen started beating the shit out of 2.0, and Eddie Kingston attacked Daniel Garcia with the back fist to the future, and John Moxley attacked Daniel Garcia with the paradigm shift, and then uh, John Moxley and Eddie Kingston racked 2.0 up, at the rope and then Sting hit the Stinger Splash. Sting attacked 2.0 with the Stinger Splash and Sting done the um, Sting done the Scorpion Death Drop to Matt Lee. Yeah, Sting attacked Matt Lee with the Scorpion Death Drop. It's either Matt Lee or Jeff Parker, one of the two. And then, yeah, it was Matt Lee. Sting attacked Matt Lee with the coffin with, with with the scorpion death drop and then Darby Allen done a, a running back elbow to Jeff Parker and knocked him out and then Darby Allen done a coffin and Darby and Darby Allen done the coffin drop but Darby Allen attacked 2.0 with the coffin drop to both Matt Lee and Jeff Parker and then Sting, Darby Allen, John Moxley, and Eddie Kingston stood tall, which that was cool. Um, but besides the matches, CM Punk debuted and came out and embraced uh, everything, like soaked everything in and, and interacted with the fans, giving them hugs and jumping in the crowd and everything. And then CM Punk got in the ring and got a microphone and cut a promo talking about how it was great to be back in the business of professional wrestling and how he's been gone from the wrestling business for seven years and was talking about how he started his career and on on August third August August 2005 and Ring of Honor and talked about how that was a company he loved working for and how uh, how he felt when he left Ring of Honor like it really hurt him really bad and everything and then okay when he said he left ring of uh, and said that once he left ring of honor he left professional wrestling in general and was saying but august 20th 2021 i'm back in the business of professional wrestling and um and cm punk was also saying that uh he didn't just cut he came back he came back for the fans but he also came back for himself because CM Punk was also saying he wanted he wants to help 
he because CM Punk because CM Punk said there was a there was a lot of young talent in AEW he wants to work with and he wants to help out and he's got scores to settle with talent in a, the young talent in AEW and the first and CM Punk was saying that the first one on his list is Darby Allen and CM Punk well Dar, well Sting and Darby Allen were up in the rafters but CM Punk was looking up at the rafters of, at Sting and Darby Allen and CM Punk was saying to Darby Allen uh, he, he said Darby I see you and listen listen you're good I've seen you jump out of airplanes I've seen you in a body bag jump off the rope and attack people I've seen you go down a flight of stairs and ju just like these people in Chicago they're you're tough and so how about I help you and we have a match at All Out and CM Punk was also saying I will see Sting, Darby Allen, and all you fans at All Out. And one more thing before I leave, since I won't have the time to say everything right now, before I leave, get you all a free ice cream bar on me. And CM Punk left and everything, which that was awesome. You know, I loved that debut of CM Punk. Like, that was awesome. I'm glad to see him back. Um, Christian Cage and the Jurassic Express, which are Jungle Boy, Luchasaurus, and Marco Stunt cut a promo, and Christian Cage was talking about how the Young Bucks try to use the the Young Bucks, which are Matt and Nick Jackson, try to use their e, their executive their EVP status on everything, and talked about how they grew up in the backyards wrestling around with their phony friends and everything, and then Christian Cage was. Saying, was saying that the Jurassic Express are going to win the AEW Tag Team Eliminator Tournament and we're going on to face the Young Bucks for the AEW Tag Team titles on a steel cage and, at All Out and, see, and Christian, cage was all, Christian Cage was also saying that um, that uh, come All Out the Young Bucks we're not going to have anywhere to go because it's going to be a steel cage match and it's going to be a fair fight. And Christian Cage was telling the Jurassic Express, good luck. And then Christian Cage was also saying, saying, Kenny Omega, I, I made you lose your confidence by taking your Impact Wrestling World Championship. But on Sunday, September 5th, at All Out in Chicago, Illinois, I'm going to take the AEW title, I'm going to win the AEW title and I'm going to take your soul. And Christian Cage told the Jurassic Express to go ahead, to, to go on out and win the tournament and everything. So the Jurassic Express left and Christian Cage looked on. Chat was cool. Kenny Omega, Don Callis, and Michael Nakazawa cut a promo and uh, Don Callis was talking about how um, it was bullshit that the Jurassic Express, which are Jungle Boy and Luchasaurus, got an another shot at the AEW Tag Team titles and was saying that everything's such a conspiracy and there's a bunch of cheating and everything going on, just like what happened to Kenny Omega last week on AEW Rampage when Christian Cage cheated to beat Kenny Omega using the steel chair and everything, and then Don Callis left... Uh, left it over to Kenny Omega and then Kenny Omega was saying Christian Cage on September 5th at All Out in Chicago, Illinois I'm going to beat your ass and I'm going to make sure and, and you're going to wish you stayed retired and everything that was cool and you know the promo between Christian Cage and the Jurassic Express was cool too if I might have forgotten that but um AEW aired a video package of the buildup of the match between Jade Cargill versus Kiara Hogan. That was cool. And Mark Henry interviewed John Moxley and Daniel Garcia in 2.0, which are Matt Lee and Jeff Parker. Mark Henry 
was saying to Daniel Garcia, Mark Henry said to Daniel Garcia, he said, Daniel Garcia, last week you attacked John Moxley. What was that all about? And Daniel Garcia was saying that, well, um, Daniel Garcia was saying, well, Mark, I, I, I took out Fuego Del Sol and I took out Matt Seidel and I need to get better and boost my confidence and prove why I'm the I'm the Red Death I, I am Red Death but and that's gonna start by beating John Moxley and uh, Matt Lee and Jeff Parker was saying John Moxley on AEW Dynamite Daniel Garcia attacked you and beat your ass and you done nothing about it. So what's that say about you? And then Matt Lee was going on talking shit about John Moxley as well and everything. And then Mark Henry was saying to what asked John Moxley, he said, John Mark Henry said, John Moxley, how are you feeling? John Moxley said, Mark, how do you think I'm feeling? I'm pissed off because what happened on AEW Dynamite was bullshit because I got attacked from behind and everything and and uh, Daniel Garcia he has a better chance of getting me pregnant than beating my ass so tonight during our match against each other I'm gonna squeeze him like a basketball make sure his eyes pop out of his head because he's gonna wish he hadn't messed with John Moxley and everything and then Mark Henry was saying well let's not waste time let's go to the main event and everything. Chat was cool. Um, but besides all that, Jim Ross, Tony Schiavone, and Excalibur done commentary throughout the whole show. They done awesome as usual. And Mark Henry done commentary along with Jim Ross, Taz, and Excalibur. Wait, wait besides, but besides all that, Jim Ross, Taz, and Excalibur done commentary throughout the whole show. They done awesome as usual. And Mark Henry done commentary along with Jim Ross, Taz, and Excalibur during the matches of the Jurassic Express versus Private Party and John Moxley versus Daniel Garcia. Considering this was Mark Henry's second time doing commentary, he done awesome. And it, yeah, Mark Henry done awesome for his second time on commentary. And the referees for the event were Rick Knox, Bryce Rimsburg, and Aubrey Edwards. Aub Wait. The referees for the event were Rick Knox, Bryce Rimsburg, and Aubrey Edwards. Aubrey Edwards refereed the match between the Jurassic Express versus Private Party. Rick Knox refereed the match between Jade Cargill versus Kiara Hogan. And Bryce Rimsburg refereed the match between John Moxley versus Daniel Garcia. Wait a minute. Hold on. The referees for the event were Rick Knox, Bryce Rimsburg, and Aubrey Edwards. Aubrey Edwards. Aubrey Edwards refereed the match between the Jurassic Express versus Private Party. Rick Knox refereed the match between Jade Cargill versus Kiera Hogan. And Bryce Rimsburg refereed the match between John Moxley versus Daniel Garcia. All the referees done awesome as usual. It was and also it was announced on AEW Rampage special event, The First Dance, this Wednesday on AEW Dynamite, CM Punk will be appearing live. And on Friday on AEW Rampage, it's going to be the Jurassic Express versus the Lucha Brothers. It's going to be the Jurassic Express, which are Jungle Boy and Luchasaurus, versus either the Lucha Brothers, which are... It's going to be the Jurassic Express, which are Jungle Boy and Luchasaurus, versus either the Lucha Brothers, which are Ray Phoenix and Pena El Cerro Mieto, or the Varsity Blondes, which are Brian Pillman Jr. and Griff Garrison. But 
anyway, I just wanted to come on here for a while and give my review for All Elite Wrestling's AEW Rampage special event, The First Dance. Like I said, it was awesome from start to finish. And with that being said, my name is Austin Honaker, and I will catch your ass down the road. Peace.